Welcome to this QuickBooks 2022 tutorial for beginners on how to record split transactions. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. And first things first, if you uh, enjoy this video or if it's helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Also, when you're ready for the masterclass and you're ready for me to answer your personal QuickBooks questions, head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org. Okay, so today, talking about split transactions in QuickBooks. And you may have heard of these. Uh, some people seem to be a little bit confused by them. So this video, I'm going to clear up this confusion. Basically, all a split transaction is, is splitting a transaction. So money spent, a bill entered, whatever it is, between multiple accounts. So more than one account. All right. So this is going to come into play in a couple different times. Uh, generally, when you enter a bill, you can split. Uh, if you enter something in the check register or if you enter a credit card transaction, there's multiple ways that this can come about. All right, so the first example I'm going to show you is when we're entering a bill. So I'm going to go to vendors. I'm going to go to enter bills. And we're just going to choose one here. Let's say City of Bayshore. And I'm going to skip all the uh, invoice numbers and whatnot. We'll say 5624. And down here, you're going to see where the accounts are. We'll say the first one is permits and licenses, and we're going to say that this is $50. All right. So, but since the amount due is $56.24, we are going to split this. So you'll be looking at the actual bill and saying, oh, okay, well, does this apply to multiple accounts or does it just apply to one account? And if it's multiple accounts, then you are going to split the transaction. So if I click this drop down menu and let's say that this is, uh, we'll just pick something, let's say finance charge. All right, $6.24. So we split it between the two accounts and you can split it in multiple accounts, much more than two if you need to. And that's it for a bill. It's pretty straightforward. So we're going to hit save and close. So now we have split that between multiple accounts. Now, the next example I want to show you is when you go to your check register. So this will come about like, let's say that I'm choosing checking account. Let's say that you go to, um, you know, Office Depot or some office supply store and use your debit card. Uh, or it's usually anytime you're going to enter something directly in your check register when you are spending that money or if you hand write a check. So we'll say that I'm going to put in debit here. We'll say that um, we went to see Office Depot. Okay, so that is not in here. So I'm going to set that up as a vendor. We're going to do a quick add. We're going to say okay. So we spent $152.36. And you'll see here there's only one space for an account. So when you're in the check register, it defaults to one uh, space here one account. So what you want to do is you want to click on splits. So if you say split, now it allows you to uh, enter this transaction into multiple accounts. So we're going to say the first one is going to be, let's say, postage. Let's say that we bought $25 of stamps. So you just type in 25. And then when we click on the next line, it's going to automatically subtract out the remaining amount. And we're going to call this office supplies. So $127.36 in office supplies and $25 in postage. And now we have split the transaction to multiple accounts. So all you're going to do then is say record. Now this is where it throws people off a little bit. You're going to see it's got this. This is a different transaction that was split, but you're going to see where it just says split. All right. So if, you, if you're going through your check register and you need to see, okay, well, what's making this up? Just click on the uh, transaction and then... Uh, hit splits and it's going to show you exactly what it was. All right, so pretty straightforward. So anytime you see that, uh, let me hit record. We'll go here. Anytime you see that split in there, there's the one we just did. You can simply click the splits button and it's going to show you the accounts that it was split between. Okay, so last example here is uh, when you are entering a credit card charge. All right, so if you you know, even if you're using the bank feeds and you're importing transactions into QuickBooks, when you are adding them through the bank feed, you can split it between multiple accounts. 
So you can pretty much use this at any point during QuickBooks when you need to specify multiple accounts that a transaction goes to. So again, if we say enter credit card charges, you'll see here, uh, choose the credit card and then choose your uh, vendor. We'll say Diane's Auto Shop and, you know, let's say $500. And over here, you can say repairs and maintenance, 400. And let's say that fuel, we got $100 of fuel. So again, I'm splitting it on the screen. So that's all uh, split transactions are, is literally just splitting it between the appropriate accounts so that you have the right accounting records. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, again, head over to the QuickBooks University. Love to personally answer your specific QuickBooks questions. I have worked with well over 4,000 members of the QuickBooks University, and I look forward to helping you too.